Happy birthday Meghan. The Duchess is surrounded by lots of love on her birthday. She and Prince Harry found themselves in a familiar place on Saturday, in church, as they celebrated another special wedding. The newlyweds attended the ceremony for one of Harry's oldest family friends, Charlie Van Straubenzee, 30, who married his 27-year-old girlfriend, Daisy Jenks, in Surrey on Saturday afternoon, and it was a double celebration as Saturday marks Meghan's 37th birthday, her first as an official royal after her own wedding in May, for the occasion. Meghan opted for a color block, pleated shirt dress from Club Monaco that featured an olive, pink and white skirt. It retails for $328. She accessorized with a hat by her go-to milliner, Philip Tracy, her trusty aquazura pumps with bows on the strap, a sweet, knotted belt and a clutch by Carnu. While Harry tended to his usher duties, the birthday girl was all smiles as she chatted with several women in attendance, also at the nuptials in the English countryside about 50 miles south of London, were another couple preparing for the second royal wedding of the year, Princess Eugenie and her fiancé, Jack Brooksbank. Contrary to reports, Harry 33, is not serving as best man at his good friend's ceremony, but he is involved in the proceedings, including usher duties. He'll also likely have a hand in some of the fun shenanigans planned for the reception, not in attendance were Prince William and wife Kate Middleton, who have been on summer vacation with their children. Prince George V, Princess Charlotte III, and Prince Louis three months, in Mustique. The wedding comes nearly three months since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's own fabulous day on May 19. A month later, they were at the nuptials of Princess Diana's niece, Celia McCorkadale. August marks the summer break for the royals, most of whom will visit the Queen at Balmoral, Scotland, for at least part of their vacation. But William will be seen again in public on August 8 when he travels to France to attend a ceremony marking the centenary commemoration of the Battle of Amiens, which played a significant role in the ending of the First World War.